Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper, and we are going to be talking about uh, handhelds today, walkie-talkies, handheld radios. This is the Retevis RT3S that I just received, and uh, we'll get back to this because this is an amazing radio. Like everyone else, I started with a 2-meter handheld, a Yesu FT270R. Uh, and that was an excellent radio, watertight, uh, rugged, very solid. Um, I lost it, but later I bought a uh, Bofeng UV5R Plus, like most people. There it is. Actually, this is my third one. <laughs> the two previous uh, radios broke right away. Uh, they broke at the connector here for the, uh, the mic, either the mic or the programming cable. I tried to program them, use the programming cable, the jack broke, and then I was forced to use the radios with a handheld mic. But yeah, it's not very good. They work, they work really well, but the quality ah, is not that great. Uh, they do have watertight models now, and maybe they're a little bit stronger, but I, I'm a little bit uh, worried about the quality of these radios for you know, prepping purposes. Of course, they're cheap, so you can buy a bunch of them for your neighbors and friends, and maybe that's what they're good for. But uh, uh, for me, it's not just quite enough. Now, this one has been through hell. It was on my boat. It took waves from the Atlantic, bounced around in the cockpit, uh, bounced around in the dinghy, and uh, it just it still works. <laughs> so somewhere they did something right. But uh, there's, there are still some areas, like, like I said, the connectors. Maybe they fixed that now, but uh, at the time it certainly was a problem because, uh, you know, two out of three radios not working is, uh, is a pretty bad number. For my group, I got the uh, TYT MD680, which is DMR radio. It's also analog, of course. Uh, it has two banks of 16 channels, and you select the channel here. So it, it doesn't turn all the way around, so you can actually, in the dark or anything like that, you can count the clicks and you know which uh, channel you're on. It's waterproof, it's very rugged, uh, it's UHF only. So I can program uh, PMR frequencies in these radios. Of course, it's not to be used now because it would be legal to use a radio that you can switch the antenna that has too much power. So we can practice with the cheap, uh, you know, Walmart kind of <laughs> radios. Uh, we don't have Walmart here, but you know what I mean? Uh, uh, blister, you know, uh, plastic uh, radios and keep these for uh, emergencies where really we need them. The good thing about this radio is that it has encryption. Of course, again, that's illegal to use, so we don't use it, but it's good to have just in case. The next one I got is a DMR radio, TYT MD390. This is the same as the uh, MD380, but in a waterproof version. So, uh, and I tried it. I dunked this in a bucket of water and uh, it came out working just fine. So uh, I can confirm that this is really waterproof and submersible. It's only UHF, uh, so DMR and analog. By the way, the 680 is not, uh, doesn't work with repeaters, so uh, it's not the same uh, tier of DMR. So it, you can communicate between those two, but you can't use the 680 on amateur repeaters. The 390, of course, works on repeaters, and uh, it's a regular DMR radio. Uh, I think it's tier 2, if I'm not mistaken. And I really like it. It's awesome. It's very rugged. Uh, you can bounce this around uh, all day and it's, uh, it's, it's going to work. Uh, and I noticed that other radios were very similar to this one made by Retevis. And actually, actually they contacted me and I asked them, uh, Do you, uh, are you the same company as uh, TYT? And they said, well, no, but uh, we share research and development. I think they share a little more, but you know, I just don't want to say, I don't know, but they sent me this one, the RT3S. Now this guy is just like the MD380 uh, from TYT, same model, but the RT3S is a dual band DMR and analog radio. Now that's freaking awesome because uh, now I can uh, use both bands, two meters and 70 centimeters. Not only that, but I can monitor two frequencies at the same time, the upper one and the, the lower one, and I can switch between the two. And if someone transmits on one of those two, uh, uh, you know, 
VFOs, uh, it just switched to it and uh, you know you can listen to it just like the Bofang uh, UV5R Plus. But this is a much better radio and it does DMR and it does encryption. I can use this on DMR repeaters, I can use this in simplex, analog, anything I want. It's not waterproof but you know it, it's more of a civilized radio <laughs> I guess. It's fairly light, it's, it's pretty small and uh, you can take it everywhere you go. That's what I really like about it. I wanted to get the uh, new Alens HD1 and uh, the HD1 is actually also made by Retevis and I hope they send me one because I really want to evaluate it but it's a bigger radio, it's, I think it's waterproof and it has a, a lot of channels and a lot of, it's a great radio but it's bigger and uh, it's, uh, uh, that would be for operations in the field this one I I take with me everywhere I go. So I'm really happy to be able to uh, test this for you guys, and uh, I will feature it in uh, in a few more videos probably, and you know just for the fact that again I take it everywhere I go. So you're gonna see it again, and uh, I still haven't uh, found out all the features and uh, the manual. I have to read the manual, <laughs> and the translation is 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 okay, but not not super good. So. Uh, uh, we'll see exactly what this radio can do. Let's have a look at the uh, programming software, which is a bit similar to, uh, you know, the uh, MD390 software. Here I'm creating a new channel, FRS uh, number 12, that's just the name. The receive frequency, of course, will be the same as the uh, transmit frequency. So I'll just put it in there too. So this is for an analog channel, of course, not a digital one. I just set the scan list and add. And that's it. Now let's go to the uh, list of zones. And here you see that you have channel member A, channel member B. That means the uh, top VFO and the lower VFO. So you can create a zone with um, actually two different zones in it. You see I've added a lot of channels here, even the marine frequencies. Here you can look at my uh, amateur radio channels. And this is a uh, digital one. I'm not going to get into uh, DMR programming here, but this software is no harder to use than a regular uh, MD390 or MD380 software. What I really like about this radio, of course, like most dual band radios, is that you can switch from one zone to another just by using the arrows here. And of course uh, you can listen to both. Uh, if one signal comes onto one zone, it will switch to it automatically. So this RT3S for me is more of a civilized radio, meaning that I can take it everywhere I go. It's not too big, it's light, it works uh, very well. And uh, hell, it's uh, analog and DMR. That's amazing. I mean, that's what we were all waiting for. A dual band UHF, VHF, DMR analog radio. Battery life isn't quite as good as my MD390. That's... That's the uh, little repeater. And usually I have trouble receiving this repeater from here, not because of the distance, but because of the terrain. And, uh, you know, with this stock antenna, oh, it works pretty good. So even though it doesn't last as long as the MD390, I still recharge it only every few days. The sound quality is better than the MD390. And that's probably because the MD390 being waterproof has, you know, something in front of the speaker or a different speaker. Same goes for the microphone. So this has become my everyday carry EDC radio. I still want to get an Alens HD1 for field use because, you know, it's waterproof and that is important to me. But this one for daily use, you know, that's what I'll pick up and use because it's uh, smaller, it's lighter. And, you know, it, it's just the sound is very good. By the way, if you want to talk to me on DMR, I am often, well, not often, sometimes I am on talk group 20859. That's the north of France. And uh, I use my radio when I'm in the car or sometimes I'm walking because I like uh, walking a lot. 
So, uh, hey, you never know. You can uh, listen and maybe uh, you'll hear me. I was hoping this would have been a cross-band repeater, but, you know, it isn't, and uh, that's too bad. Uh, I know they do have a cross-band repeater in their line of product, or maybe, it's, well, TYT does, and I think it's pretty much the same company. So uh, that's something I want to try soon. Uh, get one of those cross-band repeaters, a handheld, or maybe even a mobile radio, and use that for a repeater, and experiment with that. Because when you have a group, and uh, you have difficulty communicating because of distances or, or you know, terrain, uh, having a repeater might be just the key to uh, ensuring that you can contact everyone. And I want to experiment with repeaters on a UHF or VHF. So that will be of course for another video. And until then, I'm just going to have fun with this. Have a good one.